I have made it very simple in this house. Respect, getting an education, and having a relationship with the Lord. If you can't do that, then go. Why would the Lord give me this gift if I wasn't supposed to use it? Well, what'd you say? All I think about is music. Everything I see, hear, feel turns into a song, and I, I try to turn it off, but I can't. And I know the Lord loves me, and He wouldn't torture me with something I want to do, can't help but do. So I figured I... You figured I was wrong. That I had a gift. Sparkle, you can have a gift. It's how you use it. You get the gold star today. I mean, all of you are rock stars anyway. Aww, <laughs> no, no, yeah. this is the rock star room. This is the rock star movie. Because, see, I'm one of the few people I, I used to rock the original. See, I know all about the original. Okay. Now, how much did you know about the original? I didn't know much about it, honestly. I didn't even see it before I started doing the movie. My mom, my sisters, huge fans. So I knew we had a lot to live up to. Okay. And one of my best friends from high school, actually, she's seen the original over a hundred times. Like, it's her favorite movie. Oh. I'm not that fanatic No, no, she's it, like that. And she's like, it's gone. Oh, it's gone I ain't seen no movie a hundred times. Oh, no, my There girlfriend. are a lot of people out there like that about Sparkle. No, they have the yeah, DVD, the, the new, really oh, yeah. big time into it. Yeah, I yeah. love now, it. Now, what about you? You saw the original? You um, rocked it? I had actually seen the original a couple months before I even knew that the audition was happening, so something was happening there. Okay. Um, but hmm. I saw it, and I, I fell in love with it, and I, I really, really liked it, and then I looked up you know, the soundtrack, because I loved the music. Oh, the soundtrack's And banging. I was like, no. <laughs> no, the Aretha, I'm like, Aretha did this? I had no idea. And I, I loved listening to Aretha, and I had no idea she did that. So, you know, once we were in it, and we had to do the work for the songs, I was just like, okay, big shoes to fill. But I think we did a, a really, really good job. Yeah, yeah. Now, what about you? And you know, Curtis Mayfield wrote a lot of the songs. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right, yes, right, Curtis. Yeah, right. Curtis be coming with it on the movie soundtrack. Yes. Mm, we like you. You're like, <laughs> no, no. You're like, you're like, you're like, you're like, you're like, Oh, so yeah, no, no, I'm a fan of movies and hot ladies. So you put the two together, I'm, we winning. Slam dunk. This is like a win interview for me. I, I circled the calendar on this Your one. Your battery will get you everywhere. No, no, you can do this. This is my joint right here. And, and you, you ladies, you rocked it. But what was more challenging, the singing or the acting? Because you got you got to make both believable in this. I mean, I think she, you know, she's a pop star and you know we're actors and I think it was a there were different challenges for okay. all of us. Both of us. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, with us with choreography yes. and 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 we I'm never surprised though when an actor starts singing or a singer starts okay. acting. We're part of the art. And it seems like you yeah. guys got good chemistry so you could like sort of work together yeah, definitely. fairly well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right, we cool. Each other along. This is a team effort. All right, yeah, yeah, that's cool. I sure. like that. Team effort. All right, I got to close with this is the most important question. I want to find out from each of you, and you got to definitely kick the why, but give me your favorite Whitney Houston song and why. Uh, shoot, I want to dance with somebody. It's one of my favorite. It just makes me want to get up and grab somebody and say, Don't you want to dance? Say, I love that the video and her hair, and she's like, don't you want to, you know, I just love the video. She made me smile. She makes everybody smile. Yeah. And you just feel good. That's yeah. really what it is. She makes people feel amazing. Well, those are the best pop tunes. When they make you feel good, you want to listen to them over and over, over again. Over and over. That's a hit. Um, I would have to say, I wanted to ask somebody is one of mine as well, but I was just thinking, I Have Nothing is one of my absolute favorites as well. Just the the pain in her voice, the tear in her voice, um, and you can just feel every emotion that she's singing, and, and that's something, for me as a singer, I want to do that as well in my songs. I want to make people feel that too. Did you ever sing a Whitney song on your run on American Idol? Not on American Idol, no, because I was not about to have 30 million people telling me that I did a horrible job with that. <laughs> okay, good point, good um, point, good point. But, you know, I, I sang I Want to Dance with Somebody a couple of times at a couple of different events, and then at the Billboard Awards when I sang I Will Always Love You, that was actually the first time I had ever sang it in, in my life in front of someone. And uh, I was, it was the scariest thing I've ever done. My love is your love. I've always loved that song. I, I feel like it was like a whole other flavor of Whitney when she kind of went a little bit more sort of R&B. It was a whole other sort of like space that she inhabited suddenly. 
And lyrically, you know, it's a really powerful song now that we don't have her anymore. Mm -hmm. Because it, it's like a, everything, everything's going to be all right. You know, it's, it's kind of what she's saying in that well, song. Well, that's a great way to end. Thanks a lot. And I love the way you say R&B.